Good morning everyone and welcome to my stream. Today we are going to stream Cradle again. I streamed it yesterday and it was super awesome and today's a bit of a surprise stream because I don't usually do Tuesdays. I usually do Mondays and well it's Tuesday for me. Okay so I usually do I usually stream my time Monday and Wednesday but now I'm going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday I think. Um, just as something different for it because I like to change things up and do something different. So yeah. This morning I have a very special guest on my stream that I've really, I've been wanting to introduce this person for a really, really long time. And um, I was going to do a video, but I haven't done one yet. And I thought, well, you actually have recorded a million videos, but they didn't quite work out. <clears throat> but I thought at the beginning of my stream would be a great time to come and in to introduce to you Kiki, who's my daughter. Come here. <laughs> this is Kiki. And she um, loves gaming just like me. Um, she loves playing The Sims, and what other games do you like playing? Uh, I like Stardew Valley, <laughs> um, I don't know, <laughs> what else? Well, what have um, you played recently on your, on the, on the, my old laptop? She now has my old laptop for playing games, so she's playing The Sims, what else have you been playing? Um, Empyrean? Yeah, I played Empyrean. What else did you play? <laughs> I can't remember anyway. So, um, so welcome to Cor Coricia Tower. Taw I can't say that name. Coricia Taware, Braxton Murphy, Al. Hi, Al. And dedicated gamer and Basilis. <laughs> Al says, Congratulations on the soccer win because I told everybody that um, her team won soccer the other day, which is really, really fun. So I'm corrupting the young, yes, by making her play games really young. It's funny because, you know, in Sims, they woohoo, right? And they can have romances. So she's learning all about that stuff without me even having to say anything, which is yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. You want to say anything? I don't know. I don't know. So Braxton is back from yesterday's stream. That's awesome. And there's Kat Katham. Katham, good evening. This is, this is Kiki. She's just come along to say hello. She is wearing, I don't know if you can see, she's wearing a, sh a shirt that says Hogwarts. It's actually her pyjamas. She's going to stay in her pyjamas all day. Um, because she's a big Hogwarts fan. She's read all the books and she's seen all the movies except for the last one, right? The very, yeah. very last one. So we're maybe going to like um, snuggle down and get some popcorn and watch it this afternoon. So that'll be super fun. Yeah. Anyway, you go back to your. I think she's watching Dan TDM on on YouTube. She loves watching his movie, his videos and stuff. So, what was the video you said you were watching? I was watching him play Stickman Henry. Stickman Henry. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> and what were they doing? Um, he like tries to steal lots of things and try, and then he gets into jail, and he tries to get out, and he also tries to infiltrate an airship. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I need a stick man. So yeah, I let her watch Dan TDM on YouTube. She doesn't really watch many other channels, just that one. But, you know, I said, to, I said to her, only watch the channels that you're subscribed to. If you want to watch something else, let's get together and I will sub, you know, sub to you, sub you to, she's her own channel connected to mine. And I say, <clears throat> you know, if there's something else you want to watch, let's check it out together. Um, and I can see what she's been watching. So, you know, we just, I kind of try to keep her view, what she sees on YouTube reasonably watch think noodles and think noodles yes <laughs> hopefully all the games are okay on there so anyway eclectic says hello mini shay this is kiki yeah hello she yeah she's a little bit shy <laughs> so anyway i will see you later she's just gonna go down to her room and play on and watch her videos so while i stream so yeah say bye 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 <laughs> bye bye <laughs> Okay, so there we go. So that was Kiki. And, um, yeah, I don't really know. Good morning. Does she play Monster Hunter? Does she play Monster Hunter? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know. She's, um, she does a lot of, there's a website called Scratch. And Scratch uh, is a website that you, that teaches them how to make, like, little mini computer games. and teaches them coding and stuff. She's been doing a lot of that. Um, they also have this program called Maths Wiz because she loves maths and so she does a lot of math problems on there. You know, if I had been a child in these, this day and age, oh my goodness, I think I would have loved maths so much more because these kids get, it's so fun. 
But I remember in primary school just sitting there at my desk being shown all these problems and, you know, <laughs> it's very funny, all of my, um, my school reports from when I was little, the most common phrase that you'll find throughout all of them is that she's a dreamer. She, she doesn't pay attention. She's always off in her own little world. That was, that was the most common phrase in my um, school report. So clearly I was not interested in what was going on. <laughs> Um, oh, <laughs> Des Voltage is subscribed. Welcome to the Chase Squad. Thank you for s caressing the sub button softly. <sighs> you do some work on Scratch Braxton. That is so cool. That is so awesome. Yeah, it's a pretty good thing. I haven't actually used it myself, but I'm definitely, um, I want to get into it once we get time. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorry, a little bit, a little bit of a detour from the beginning of the stream. I want to get back into this game because it's super fun. Let me just turn the desktop audio on so you guys can hear it. So hopefully I, I can hear it. I can't hear it right now, but it's right. It probably hasn't hasn't started up. Um, and I just want to say hello to everybody. Hello to Catham. Uh, hello to Dedicated Gamer. It's a very small stream right now, and I don't mind because this game is one of those ones where only a sort of a select amount of people will probably be interested in it because it's not common, it's not Conan, it's not Imperian or Minecraft or whatever else is common and um, popular at the moment. It's just a game that's um, sort of like an indie game. I love these kinds of games, and I think streaming is really fun because I can get people to help me with them with the game. Now this is really hard because it's a little bit of a like a mastermind Tetris thing. So in order to get this breathing module, um, I've I've brought this this uh, robot to life. She's actually not a robot. She's got a human consciousness and her human her consciousness of this person was put into this robot so that it can survive because obviously um, uh, the organic matter of our bodies could not survive some kind of, I think it was like a, a a war or something some kind of chemical war and all the bodies obviously perished so they were transferring consciousnesses into robots and this girl has awoken and she finds it very difficult because she cannot breathe so she wants to get a breathing module even though she doesn't need to breathe as a robot she needs this breathing module because that's well, i don't know something that her, her consciousness is used to so he's come to here to this place to the Pavilion of Endless Sands, and we've got to <laughs> collect three blue, 30 blue cubes to gain the breathing module. We've got to hurl the cubes into the uprising stream, hold the right mouse button while throwing to make a burst of cubes. Hold the right mouse button, right mouse button. Oh, what? I never tried that, so let's try that. Don't fall into the water, it reduces your score. Make use of the uprising stream to lift yourself. Create platforms, valuable cubes are hidden inside those, okay? Apply blue cube to a white one to create a platform. Right click to delete the cubes blocking your way, okay? So basically, this is the area that we're on. I can pick this, can I pick this one up? No, I can't pick this one up. This is the breathing module. So the breathing module is going to help us get this robot thingy to work. Now, the blue ones are the ones that we have to chuck into this whirling pool that unlocks this thing. But right down the bottom where that red circle is, we can't go down there because we will lose points. So we've got to be very careful. But there is this 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 mean guy that comes along and blasts the um, ground from beneath us. So we have to be super careful. So. Um, and then we fall. So if I go like this and then chuck it, but I held right, and see that goes up there, and then we've got one little thing there. So, um, so there's that sound is the sound of the red guy, and he apparently, if I keep running, I don't know what he's doing behind me. I can't see. Okay, so he blasted away a whole bunch of things beneath me. What are those black things? I don't know what those black things are. So, uh, let's put this down there. We're going to take this. And when we find a white one as well, we can also ooh, create a... Ooh, uh, 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 we can create a platform. If we just pick up a whole bunch of these and throw them in, then we've got a whole bunch of points, which is great. We need to get to 30. Okay, there's that bad guy. So we're going to jump up here. Oh, jump, 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 jump. Hopefully he hasn't done anything to affect me. No. If I jump, if I run away from him, he seems to... Oh, he's come back. Okay. See, he's come back, the red guy. 
Oh, he's right in front of me. Seems to be if I if I uh oh 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 gosh. He got a whole bunch of things. Oh, there's a white thing down there. So we want to get a blue thing and stick it on top of the white thing to create a platform. And it also creates more... Are you serious? You're back. Why are you back? So if I grab this and... Ah! You meanie! Did he take that blue thing off me? He did. No, 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 no. Okay, so if I put that there, no, if I put it there, no, if I put it there, okay, no, if I put it, oh, there's a red one, what's the red one doing there? Which way around was it? Was the white on the blue or the blue on the white? I think it's white on the blue, there we go. And then we create a platform and we get more, more things. Does that make sense? And now what does that red one do? I'd love to know what that red one does. What does that do? What happens if, if I put that here? Ah, oh, he moves around. Oh no, he went straight past. Ah! Okay, if I take this here and I make a platform over here. Oh, I'm going to take this one out and chuck it over there. Get this one out, stick it on top of here to make another platform. And this one over here to make. Hang on a second. If I put this one here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm going to jump away from this area so he, he, he blasts this part. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> he blasts this part, not the part where I just stuck down that thing. Because I've got a whole bunch of things. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. How many more have I got to go? Quite a few. I've got to get 30. Oh gosh. He's sucking a whole bunch of the things in there. Hang on. <sighs> okay, I'm going to chuck that in there. I'm going to chuck that in there. I'm going to chuck that in there. So we've got a ho Ah, no, 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 Okay, so we can jump up here and use this as a stream. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, I just lost a whole bunch. Damn it, I really don't want to do that. Okay, bummer, bummer. See how I lost a bunch? Okay, so there's nothing up here. What's that red one for? I really don't know what that red one is for. So if I jump down here, it's on top of the red one. What happens if I do that? I don't know, nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna go like, oops, no, that's shooting it. I've gotta just place it. Whoopsie, whoopsie. No, 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 can I not place the red yellow ones? If I place that one there, yes. So I can place them here, so like that. If I put this here and then I can throw that in there. Um, put this here. I don't know whether or not this actually makes a difference. This one here. No, 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 no. Oh, you, you meanie. Okay. Let's put a platform down over here. Okay, so that kind of heals it in a way, which is quite good. Let's check. No, 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 no. No, 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 This is a weird game. <sighs> Hang on a minute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's tough. I don't know if I can like proceed without actually finishing it. It was such, it's such a bummer. Hi, Desvolter. You subbed. That's amazing. Thank you so much for subbing. You found me with my episode with Vintage on Conan. I love that episode. It was so much fun to do. I hope that I can do something with him again at some point. Monster Hunter, I don't know anything about that. Wow. Hi, Greg. No, I've only just started because I um, I decided to start a little bit early today, except I ended up doing it at 10 o'clock anyway. So <laughs> I was going to go, oh, I could do it at 9.30. See, that red guy blasted all of that away. Let's chuck this. Okay, there's a thing over there. Hang on. If I go down here and pick up this... And then do this here, and then, oops, uh oh, let's get away from this area so if he blasts me, no, 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 don't blast me there. I'll do this, this one here, then grab this blue one here, and put this here, make a little platform. There's a nice little platform going down over there, there's another blue one just here. Um, if I put that just here, and then I put this here, what about here? 
and then this one here pick this one up and throw that over there whoa 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 whoa, whoa. here he is he's the bad guy can you shoot me over here now I'm going to jump into here and hopefully go up the stream up the stream up the stream can I go up the stream because I want to go over here this is tough. Nothing is easy though, right? Nothing is easy. So these are down here. Okay, let's chuck a bunch of these into here. Okay, get a whole bunch of them over there. Okay, bad guy. Bad guy. Bad guy. So if I run here... Ah! Please... No, 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 no. Ooh, he's come back again. Do I have any more blue ones around? No. Please no, because then I'll go into the thing. Down here. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, bummer. No. Oh, what a bummer. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'll take this one and put a little thing over here. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. I fell in the hole. It's very, very risky working on this level. If I go over here, and I go here, and then I do this one here, then I'm going to go up the string because I want to get out of this this level. Oh, 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 ah, he just appeared right in front of me. I can't get out. I can't get out. Why can't I get out? Oh, <laughs> that was not fun. No, 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 no. I can see this game getting very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. Um, I no, can't put it in there just yet. So if I put that there, and that there. couple of blocks to just go across here I don't know what whether or not it's a good idea to waste time doing something like this rebuilding it but I figure that we can try if I chuck that in there and this one in here we can make back a little a few of the ones that we lost so yeah uh oh no 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 okay <laughs> okay let's do this Nope, uh, let's do that, and then this over there. Okay. Heal that. It's kind of what it is, eh? We're kind of like healing it. There's a whole bunch of them down there. But there's... Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, my God! I tell you what, if you get holes right underneath everything, you just fall all the way down. There's nothing you can do. Nothing. Ooh, ouch. Um, I can't find a white one right now. Okay, let's just chuck these two in here. That one and that one. And then let's see if we can go up the stream to get up a bit further. See if we can find any more white blocks to make some... Nope, that was not good. Oh gosh, no. Can I hide in here? Okay, so he doesn't actually do anything to me when I'm when I'm here. He just blocks. If I stand on top of blocks, then I should be safe, like right in the corners. Okay, but still, I cannot find any more blues in, on this level. Are there any more blues on this level? Um. Okay, so let's go down to the next level. 
to this level. See if there's any just wandering around here. Here's one. I can see one. Hiding. You're hiding. Let's chuck you in there. How many more have we got to go? We've got quite a few left to go, don't we? So if I place some things just here. And then this one just here. There we go. So there's a whole lot of blue ones down there. And I want to find in the white one because that... No, 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 no. Let me just see if I can hide up here. Okay, I'm down on the next level. Cool. I just gotta be careful because there's lots of holes down here. Where is there's a couple of blue ones here? Let's chuck that in there. I can't find any white ones. Eh, no! Oh my god. Are you serious? Here's some blue and white ones there, just there. Okay, let's No! Ugh. That's mean! Oh. Let's go to this level. There's not a lot, a lot, lot on that level, is there? Okay. To accept your sacrifice when you fell in the volcano. Hurry up, you're running out of cubes. Yeah, I am. I know. I'm totally running out of cubes. Where's that white one that I saw? I saw a white one around here somewhere. Okay, let's just throw that over there. There we go. There's a white one down there. No, 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 no! Ugh. This is frustrating! Rage quit! I, I lose. You're not a virgin, Al, so it was wasted? <gasps> yeah, I guess... We're going to try it one more time and then, then take a break from it. I guess if you if you sacrificed yourself into a volcano and you're not a virgin, then they're definitely going to, like, spit you back out. Right? It looks hard to win. It is. It's tough. So if you hold the right mouse button while throwing... To make a burst of cubes, which I did, but nothing happened. Um, create platforms, valuable cubes are hidden inside of those. Make use of the operating list. Just, mm, right click to delete the cubes blocking your way. Apply blue cube to a white one to create a platform. So right click. I was right clicking a lot. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So let's just have a little look around. There's a, there's a white one just there. So if we go down here. We pick this one up. I don't know what the red cubes are. We make a little platform just here. Then we can chuck that over there. And I'll probably chuck this one. Whoa. Chuck this one too. And then we'll go over here. Uh, can you jump up here? He didn't really that make, make, make that much of a thing, so that's okay. Let's check this one here. Let's put that over. Can I put that over there? No, 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 no! Oh, damn it. I fell down. I want to get back up to the other level. Because that's where I was. What? Did I fall down? Oh, no! I fell down because it was not working. It stopped every once in a while. Oh my god, this is frustrating. And it's really hard because you guys can't actually really help me with this, which sucks. Okay, so he blasted that. Oh my gosh, that was a big blast. What does this red one do? I wish I knew. Okay, so let's pick up this one. Let's go here on this one. And there's a blue one just here. Let's put this over here on this white one that I put down. There's a platform just there. 
<clears throat> and then we can take this one here and make this one here. And then we're going to take this blue one and make a platform just there. So now we should have some blue ones to, to take and chuck in there. Oh no, not right now. Don't do it now. And then he comes. Oh gosh, did you just got you got rid of my white one, you little rat bag? <laughs> okay, so we're still on the top level, which is okay. Let's chuck a few more of these in here. Okay. Did I lose all of them? Why did I lose all of them? I thought I chucked a whole bunch in there, first of all. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is nasty. You'd be very quick-witted and everything. Possibly a little bit too hard, but I don't know. Has anyone played this game? How long did, you, did it take you to do? Oh, did I just lose that one? Oh my gosh, I think I just lost one. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a blue one just down there. Hang on a second. Right there. Oh, I don't know if that went down. Oh no, don't. No, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> don't chuck it while it's while it's doing its thing. No, 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 no. Okay, you can stay here. <sighs> okay, let's chuck that in there. Did that go down? I don't know if it did. Chuck that one in. Chuck that one in. That one in, and that one, and that one. Just get a whole bunch of them. Oh my goodness! If you hide from him, he goes away. If you hide from him, he goes away. Okay, I don't know what the red ones are for. I wish I knew, but I don't. It's whoopsie. Actually, I might just put that there, put this over here, put that there, chuck that in there. So a whole bunch of new ones, chuck that in there, chuck that in there. How much have we got? We've still got quite a few left to go. And then, oh no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, can you... Can you you know the trick so after you after you pick up a block put it in your inventory oh i see put it into your inventory stack up one and then hold the right right click to spew out a bunch at once oh also the vortex is about to reverse when your scorekeeper begins swirling white hmm place a blue, blue cube on a red one okay blue cube on a red one that's a good idea Oh, no, 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 Did you really? You just got rid of that red one? So if I put... Where's the blue one? Is there any blue ones around? I can't see any blue ones. Not up here anyway. They're all down there. Okay, can we go jump? So if I put the red one there and put the blue one there... Oh! Oh. I didn't quite want that to happen. So... If I can put this into my inventory. Okay, I see. Ah, I see. <gasps> no, 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 no. stand on here and he gets rid of all of this and hopefully he doesn't get him buy yourself some hot cocoa later as a stress relief <laughs> I think I will <laughs> how many more can I put in my inventory how many have I got in my inventory a lot okay so if I go like this and hold that ooh that's cool I love it <laughs> love it 
That is awesome. Okay, we don't want to lose that all that all that though because he's about to come. And we blast that. No 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 no. Ah, oh, bummer! Hang on, let's just grab this while we're here. Let's stick it in the inventory. And go up. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, you don't. You mean old, mean old. You know, there's one just down here somewhere. So if I go like this. Oops. And then pick that one up. And we've got that. Can I put that in my inventory? I can. Ew. Okay. Can I put this in my inventory? I can. Um, okay. Let's go. Oops. Let's put this one. How many people have we got to go? We're getting there. Uh oh. oh. Okay, let's pick up that one then. Where am I walking? Be careful where I'm walking. Okay. So, oh, no, 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 no. Oops. 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 Let's pick that up. Chuck it in there. Okay, and then just jump up here. Oh, we've got another white one here. So let's put this white one here. And then go into our inventory. Oops, no, go into our inventory and grab that and put that down there. No, 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 no. Oh, did you just blow that up? You horrible, horrible thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> let's put that there and then go. Oh, I don't have any more. Okay, um, let's put that. Oh, I don't want to hang on a second. I'm very careful. Where am I going? Oh, not the white ones. No! You're an idiot, Shay. You were such an idiot. <laughs> I don't know why I put the white ones in there. I was just trying to save them so that I wouldn't have to get to them later. You are a horrible thing. How many have we got? We've only got one, two, three, four, five left to go. So let's see if we can do this. There's one just here somewhere. Where are you? I saw you from before. Where are you? I can't see you. I can't see you. There's a white one there. Let's put it in the inventory. Oh, they're over there. Okay, let's... Oh, here it is. Okay, so let's just chuck that in there. Hopefully we can do this. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this. Before the guy comes back. Before he comes back. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't you dare. No. Oh, he didn't. He didn't. And let's do this one. No, 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 What's happening? What's happening? He's gonna, no. Okay. Ah! What happened to the ones I just chucked in there? Hmm? There's a bunch over there. Okay. Red blocks just explode. They used to destroy gray blocks that might be blocking your path. Um... It's, yeah, thank you Stephen Westry, it is a bit of a nightmare, I'm trying to get past it so I can get to the next part of the game, because I don't think I can, ah, I don't think I can do anything until, until I can, I can't do anything until I fix the, get this girl her breathing thing. I'm just going to take this. Am I running out of blocks? Can I jump up here or not? Where is some more blue ones? I know there's plenty of blue ones down the bottom. Oops. Let's go there. We'll put that down there. Just want our little pathway over here. So I don't fall down. But I can't see any more blue ones at all. Where are the blue ones? There's a blue one. Let's go over here and chuck it here. Okay. So we've got that one. Let's chuck that in there. Let's chuck that in there. I probably shouldn't have chucked the last one in there. I don't know if that's the last one, but anyway. Okay. So we've got two there. Oh, of course he comes back. Nope. There's a, blue, there's a blue one right there. How many have I got to go? One, two, three. Three. Oh, 
three left to go. Okay, so if I go, hang on a second. If I go this one, put that there. I'm gonna go this one, put it there. Then I can go like uh, up here. I've got three more to go. One, two. Okay. Go there. Come on, go there. Okay. Get it? I win! Yes! Yes! I won. <laughs> Bye, Ohio. See you later. <sighs> I don't want to link to Monster Hunter on this on YouTube because you can't post it. Like Tweet me or something about it. Yeah. Game saved. That is awesome. We actually did it. How many times did it take us? Three times. I do consider that to be a good run, considering how hard it was. Okay, so I've got the breathing module. So we're back in the real world. Real, real world. And I can go down here. Oh, look at this. Hang on. Wait, this. Okay. Why can I not? I can. Whee! Oh, is that it? Oh, come on. The end part, going the fastest, is the best. I put this, I'm going to put that in my inventory so that I stop carrying it around. Right, now we've got to find out how to get back to the... U I don't, know, I don't know whether this would be useful, but there were people that were dubbed outsiders. For whatever reason, they sought to spread the sterility virus. They were the reason the virus became a global scourge. But how they did it, or why... That I do not remember. Oh, look at this. Isn't it cute? Okay, so we need to get back to... There is the gardens, like I saw last time. I'm going to assume we're going the right way. So we're going to go back to the yurt. I think it's a yurt. It's named like a little tent or something. There are these... Oh, there are that thing. There are black things like that. So we need to be careful about the black things. Can I run? That's as fast as I can go. So this is how we got in up this little tree just here. But it's clearly not the way we're going to be getting out. Because I can't get up there. So we're probably going to have to figure out what's... Find a way to exit the territory of the complex. Restore Ida's breath to help her focus on her memories. Okay. So that's why we're getting the breath. To help her, the, the little robot woman, robot girl, to focus on her memories so that we can remember why we're here. Because we don't know who we are, we don't know what we're doing here. We could be a robot, we might not be. Who knows? So I'm going to go try and find out how... See, there's some more of these cubes. I think every time I see a cube I'm going to want to scream. <laughs> Maybe if we go along the fence line we might find a hole or something that we can creep through. So, uh, these signs say something on the other side that's a bit scary what they say. So, we'll have a look at what they say when we get on the other side. But at least just take a little run around the perimeter and see. If anybody knows what we need to do to get to the other side, just to save time. Otherwise, I'm going to just... So, this is running. This is walking slowly. And this is running. So, I'm actually running. It feels really slow, though. It feels super slow. It's so pretty. The grass. It may be that we can't get out from the inside through the fence. I mean, I'm kind of like being a little bit silly in the sense that I'm looking for the same way out that I got in. When it might actually be completely different. Like there might be a hole somewhere or a cave. Hmm. So that is the question. Ooh. Maybe I've got to fly up into one of these. So if I grab... Mm -hmm. Maybe. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know. Hi, Jade. How are you? I hope I don't die. No. I'm bouncing. <laughs> I bounce. There's that black thing. <clears throat> I wonder if those balloons do anything. Maybe float with a balloon. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But there's that black thing just there, so I'm going to be super careful. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nothing. Nothing is there. You can see little flimsies of the, little flitters of the black smoke and then it sort of turns into an actual being. You're finally home, Baderok! Yay! You, it has been fun. We've just fixed did the puzzle, the first big puzzle of the game. So now, see these are balloons. Can I grab one and float out? It just says find a way to, to exit the territory of the complex. It doesn't give you any clues. Nothing. So there might be a secret hole somewhere maybe and it's right by a black thing? Can I get through here? No. Didn't a trolley come? Yes, they did. it did. A trolley did come, like a little train thingamajigger. Yeah, it came this way. Can I cr climb up the cords? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? There's a couple more balloons around here, so let's have a look. But I have a feeling that it's maybe something to do with those little... Actually, they just go straight past. It doesn't actually come in here, I don't think. Well, maybe it's a slide that goes to the outside world? I'm not sure. I didn't think about getting out when I got in. I was just excited about getting in. Oh, is this like a little hole? Can I get through here? No. No. I can't get out of here. Ooh, what's that? There's a stick. Can I pick up a stick? Is there anything in my inventory? No. Just the breathing thing. Second wind. Restore Ida's. Ah, find a way. Oh, doesn't say anything new. Okay. I've almost been right round, so let's have a little look. It's pretty well fenced in, isn't it? Yeah, maybe it's the same to get out if I climbed a tree in. Exactly. Well, that's what I was thinking, because here's the tree that I climbed in with. But none of the trees along the outside... Oh, wait, no. Unless I can climb a tree, which I haven't been able to do so recently, but... What's that noise? There's a black thing. I wonder if the black things actually do anything. Can I climb this one? Climb, climb, climb. No. And they seem to materialise near the trees too, I've noticed, so that's a thing. Um, is that the way? No, that, ooh, he's on the outside. That's interesting. <laughs> round, round, baby, round, round. Yeah. Okay, so this is the way we got in. This is the way we got in, got in, got in. This is the way we go in, not the way we get out. <clears throat> okay, this thing here. Oh, what about these lights over here? Maybe the lights have something to do with it? Let's have a look! Are you, are you gonna light my way, baby? Light my way! Oh. Ugh, what's that noise? Oh, what? That, those black things actually make noises. Like, I almost want to find out what they are by just going up to them. The problem is that if I found a way out through the fences, it would have been a way in as well. Oops. Oh. Underground or a way inside to the top, yeah. That's what I was thinking too. I was hoping that it would just be easy so that I could get back to the girl and figure it out. I mean, I can't ask her a question. I can't say, hey, can you figure out how to get out of here? That would be the perfect thing to do. But it's not. So let's go back inside. This is the only thing I hate about puzzle games. Is that sometimes the answer is not obvious. Um, 
It gives me any other that find a way to exit the territory of the complex. Okay. Um. Hmm. We were so eager to get in, we didn't even think about getting out. Nothing looks obvious right now. Forgotten City. And maybe a lot of these things... Is it? That's the one I went to before. So a lot of these things are like going to be challenges that I have to achieve during during the game. I'm guessing. So you can't open that. And this old thing. Can you see the cubes here? What cubes are you talking about? This one. <laughs> the elevator is out of order. Okay. What about this one here? Solo Spirit! Hello! Welcome! What is this? This is deep underwater. But the door isn't open. Can I get around here? Thank you for sending me the link. Okay, can it? Uh, can I jump out onto here? Probably not. How do you get out? Oh, oh. Whoops. Oh, I still got the thing? I do. Oops. Stop! Yeah, I wasn't allowed to pick up the hatchet and the yurt, so, you, like, you don't need anything with you from there to get out. Yeah, I didn't... Yeah, you're right. I don't need anything to get out. So what is it that... Maybe I have to... Maybe I have to go to the black things, that they'll suddenly chuck me out because I'm not supposed to be in here? Maybe I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. Where's find the with find the black smoke? Just like in Lost. Northern Lights hasn't got a thing to get you up there. So, all right. So I think the entrance for such exit was this way. So let's go find a black thing and get in, get them to chuck us out. I think that might be. Uh, or, or it just kills me. <laughs> Ends the game. <laughs> Bye bye baby. Oh, I got a stick. What happened to the other things that were in my inventory, huh? 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 Okay. Black thing. There was a slide from that last elevator. What thing? Die and respawn outside. Brilliant. Yeah. Cedro, you see there that thing. Hi. What are, what are you going to do to me? Ooh, okay. So that's not, not a good idea. Can I climb up here? Hmm. Okay, click deck. Good night. Sleep tight. See you tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, when you can't get out of somewhere, you're like stuck. It's like what? Okay, so um, I'm not sure. This balloon thing. I don't seem to be able to do anything with the balloon thing, unless of course I get a stick and throw it or 
not. <laughs> Use a stick on the balloons. You, you were thinking the exact same thing as me. Um, I wonder if I'm actually human or if I'm robot. What's this over here? Try the trolley looking circle thing at the entrance. No, that's not really anything there. Wow, I hear something, but I don't know where it is. I can't see it. Oh, it's right there. Hang on. Ooh, I guess it's bad. No, don't come for me. I'm not worth it. Go back. Okay, I'm going back. It's a balloon. Chasing me? Where? Why are you chasing me? No. Okay, so this trolley thing. Okay, so where are the slides? I've got elevators and slides to almost all of them because I know that some of them don't oh what's that one it's a bit different isn't it it goes into there it doesn't have an elevator up though that has an elevator up there that's number seven ancient ruins number nine the thing is half broken can I go up elevators out of order Oh, there's a black thing in here. Was there a button? I didn't see the button. Oh, what about the trolley thing? This one. Because I think that's what you were talking about, am I right? The trolley that was here. I went in here on the way in and saw nothing in here, but there might be something on... This might be the answer to something on the way out. Hang on, is there a button on here? Oh, sounds like there's a black thing really, really close. If I go in here, it turns on automatically without me doing anything. It's like these are the things that go around. No. The things that go, you know, how there's a big, um, those big circles. It's like a trolley. It's like a train station-y thing. It's like this is the thing that goes on there, but it's not because it's not attached to it. So what is this used for? That does nothing. Why would this light up if it wasn't for anything? Surely it's supposed to be for something. Is there buttons here? Button. There are these cards here. Oh, I hope he doesn't come in here and get me. Automatic report card. Automatic report card. Automatic report card. Let's just click on all of them because sometimes one might just have something a little different. Nope. 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 Um, how do I get out of, how do I get out of the what? How do I get out of the territory of the complex? Um, what am I playing? Cradle. How to get out of territory of the complex. I was about this wrong. Um, how to exit the complex. Oh, Okay. <laughs> Let's try that then. So, jump in the hovercraft that looks broken in front of the pavilion entry. Move cursor over the white settle panel to activate. Looks like a hovercraft at the entry. It's like this one. That doesn't look like a hovercraft though to me. That looks like a little game kind of thing, a majigger. But we'll give it a go. The white panel. Is this the white panel? Ah. Whoa. This way. Going this way. 
We can crash? No, we're not gonna crash. Um New task added. And okay, now what do we do? Can we stop? Stop. That's interesting. Wow. How did that fly? What did I do? Okay, well I wouldn't continue the continue to the connect to the breathing what? Connect the breathing thing to Ida, I think that is what that said. Okay. That's what Cedra was saying. Thank you, Cedra. I didn't quite <laughs> it was a little hard to understand exactly what you mean, but thank you. I will take if you're looking at Google and asking those questions, then I guess I'll have to take you seriously whenever you say things. It looks fun and dangerous, yeah. It looks like oh um, yeah. Punch cards. You started programming on punch cards. Did you just date yourself? <laughs> you old thing. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, there we go. Okay, I see what you mean. Now, Cedric, you were trying to tell me what it was. I get it. Now, is this place returned back to the way it was at the beginning of the game? It is! It's reset itself. Yay! So, like, look, look, all these are put back in their place. Somebody collect the house cleaner came. <laughs> All right, so. Did you bring the module? Help me understand something. Yes. Yes. How do I install it? There should oh, be a pipe inside the chest. A trachea. The air passes through it, so you need to connect the module to it somehow. There should be a pipe inside the chest. Oh, the chest is locked. All right. A pipe. Oh, a pipe inside the chest. Okay, this chest. Right, I knew that. Uh, where did a chest thing go? There it is. What did she say? Inside the chest. I was thinking maybe inside this chest. Or this chest. There we go. Oh look, she's got little breathing thingies. Excellent. Why can't I put that back on? Hang on a second. What? I just... She needs to have her boobies back. That doesn't work. <gasps> oh my god, I can't give her boobies back. Thank you. Don't mention it. Finally, I'm breathing. How goes your search? Did you find the password? Not yet. But I did remember a bit about myself. I used to work here at the Gerbera Garden as a teacher, I think. I remember kids being brought here to watch a show. They would then play in the pavilions, carry body parts from there, and pile them up by the stage for some reason. What an odd amusement park to build. Strange indeed that it was built here. There's something I don't understand. You said it was abandoned. But it's still operating. It's got power. Why wasn't it taken down? There was an explosion. There was an explosion. It's full of some poison. Do you remember anything about that? Um, I think I know what it was that exploded there. Disparatoxin. What's that? That's the substance from which the virus came into being. The epidemic began after one such explosion. When? One? You mean there were other explosions? Several hundred. Throwing all across around, the globe. No big deal. Who carried out the explosions? Remember I was telling you about the outsiders? The explosions were their handiwork. Were they terrorists? What was their goal? No goal to speak of. They weren't even doing it on purpose, really. Simply, sometimes their passium capsules would explode in their chests, spontaneously. The emotions generated substance was the cause. Oh, that's so what weird. What was wrong with it? It had a dangerous component, bitter passium. 
It's a kind of dark liquid which may suddenly turn poisonous and explode. Those people were carrying a bomb in their chests. It wasn't their intention to massacre thousands of people and strip the entire race of the ability to procreate. But that's what happened. That's what the black things were. Bitter, 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 bitter passium. So it's like everyone's bad emotions. But how are they different from the others? Genetic defects. The more defects in the DNA, the more bitter the passium becomes. Outsiders were at once pitied and feared. Nobody wanted to live next to a time bomb. Many outsiders left their hometowns. They didn't want to cause anyone trouble. So that's why they were called outsiders. They were called all sorts of things, including lower class and ugly people. I still remember the slogan, protect society from the emotions of ugly people. Oh my gosh. What an unexpected problem for society. But not the only problem. Living in an M body requires fuel, and fuel can only be obtained in exchange for sweet passium. Provided you have it, which the outsiders did not. They were unwitting spongers. Can I ask both of them? Spongers? They were issued poor heredity assistance from the public rescue fund. The fund was founded and sustained by a special tax that was levied on all the citizens. First and foremost, on the beautiful elite. A lion's share of the reserves went towards supporting ugly people. Thus, they became a constant headache. Not only spreading the virus, but also draining the rescue fund. Mm. Those ugly, poisonous spongers. It was their emotions that were poisonous. Uglies are dangerous merely by living and feeling, in that they deprive the rest of any hope of returning to the way things were. I remember all the heated debates, the frantic search for a solution. And did they find it? Yes, I think so. The committee proposed a hibernation program, putting the uglies to sleep. Oh. Come again? What kind of sleep? Deactivation. A voluntary shutdown. A temporary one until the virus is destroyed. And many of them agreed, realizing it was the best option they had. I don't know whether it helped or... Hold on. What? The password. I think I got the right one. Yes, I'm in. I see the files. Trying to find info on the employees. It should have my data as well. What was Sweet Passium? I wanted to ask that question, but I chose to find out what was the ugly things. The, uh, the whatever they call the uglies. You've got strange eyesight. Why is that? You see virtual files. I wouldn't refuse regular eyesight either. It's all dark, but I can't figure out what's broken. The screen on your face. It's broken. It's called a look screen. And yes, it's damaged. Might there be a working one at the Gabera Garden? There probably is, but it won't recover my sight. Something is up with my lens, and the garden wouldn't have those. Nor do I know where to find them. I suppose I'll look for a lens then. Where? In the field? There's nobody around. What was that? Don't know. I'll go check it out. Uh, an air shuttle is parked at the magnetic road station. Speak with the shuttle's machinist. Which one? That one? There we go. There. Okay. So if you had ugly emotions, you were basically an outsider. You had to be perfectly sweet and nice. Okay, so this guy has stopped here, so we're going to talk to the shuttle's machinist. Ooh. Hello. Well, where'd you disappear to? Listen, I found out how much they're paying. It's good money. Very good, actually. I'm going tomorrow. The procedure is simple. No pain and almost no damage. Sure, your brain is a little worse for wear while their patient recovers, but a job's a job, right? I might even quit the whole flower-collecting business. But all that still just castles in the sky. In the meantime, we've got phytocopies to sell. I got an order for you, so listen up. Two red, 70 at the least, one orange, 
Sorry, I don't know what that means. Who are you? Enabish, I ain't got time to spare, so why are you wasting it? Tabaha is gonna get fired. I don't want to go back to getting shut down for 20 days in a month span. I lost my memory, Tabaha. So what are Fido copies? If this is a joke, it's a real dumb one. Tell me what Fido copies are, and why we sell them. Cut the crap. What do you mean, why sell them? Because people buy them. HQ goods are valuable. Somebody beautiful can license a copy of their DNA and sell it, which can then be used to make all sorts of stuff. Androids, flower vases, like the one on your table. As for you and I, we digitize flowers, make them into Fido copies and sell them. Understand? People like seeing a high number on the display. Beautiful things are always valued. Oh, that's what the numbers were. Saying how valuable something was. Why don't you collect the flowers yourself? Why don't you collect the flowers yourself? Take are you those. mocking me? I've had enough of that. My head still ain't right after the last time. That's right. You're the weirdo around here. Strolling right alongside the enclosure without any harm. I'm just an old, miserable outsider. Pretty damn useless, too. Then again, I'll be healing beautiful folks soon. Guess there's some use left in me yet. Heal them from what? I told you, their emotions are all gone. They walk around like zombies, blinking vacantly. Treatment is in full swing. Donors are needed. Wow. Donors of what? What else? Immunity. Turns out the elite are more susceptible to panic. Some kind of burnout in their heads. So that's what happened. Emotional burnout in all the beautiful folk. Now they need their immunity to panic restored. But that immunity needs to come from somewhere, right? And who is it that endures panic best? Who are you going to turn to? I don't know. The uglies? Bingo! But see, nearly all the uglies have been put to sleep. So now they're being woken up. Yeah, the um, robot pinups at the back. Lovely. Is this one way to get your uh, blood running? Fine, Tabaha. So, you want me to pick some flowers? No, damn it, not pick some flowers. If you go and pick the first flowers you see, feel free to stuff them right up your nostrils. Who's gonna buy those? What I need is the prettiest flowers you can find. I'm not really an expert on aesthetics. Amazingly, today you're even weirder than usual. Look. You take the genometer, go up to the flowers and measure their beauty. I need two red gabaras with a 70 HQ or higher, no lower. One orange, 80 or higher, and one yellow, 90 or higher. Make sure to measure only fully open flowers, else the phytocopier will jam up and cleaning it is a pain. Aim at the center of the flower, lest it close up before you're done measuring. Once picked, digitize it with the phytocopier, then pack everything. Pack into what? Same as always, into a box of covers. Box of covers? All right, that sounds doable. I'll be back in three hours. What do you want for the job? Want me to bring back food? I need a lens for a female embody. A lens won't help that vase of yours. It was already barely functioning when your late grandfather bought it up in buying Hangor. Ain't nothing you can do. It's a cheap, pirated copy. Let it go. It's been gathering dust for years, so let it. Bring me the lens, Tabaha. Fine, I'll bring it. But I want you to know that you're slowly losing your marbles out here. You should move to the city. I'll be sure to do that. Just one more question. Shoot. What is that number on your chest? What does it mean? Ha! <laughs> Good one. Seriously, I didn't see it coming. All right, I'm off. Tons to do and the weather is getting nasty. Get yourself a hat. A warm one, made of fur. Know what I'm talking about? Interesting. So they just hover, they don't actually attach to the lines at all, and then they just go. So we need to find some to find some flowers. 
There's a whole bunch of flowers down there. Do not gum up the analyzer. Yeah. Tabo, how will you get your lens in exchange for four fighter copies? Pick flowers using the jeans gorge. You need two red gaberas, one orange, and one yellow. Pick the flowers. But I need the jeans gorge. What is that? Do I have it on me? No. So I guess. Maybe I'll go back and talk to her. She knows what I'm talking what what that is. We I mean, can go to the flowers, but what is a jeans gorge? And I don't want to pick the prettiest looking flower and not know. Looking flower. You know, and not know whether or not that's good. I mean like these are these are orange ones just here. Oh look. Alright. Hello. Can I talk to you? Mako just subscribed. Welcome to the Shake Squad. Thank you so much for subscribing. Increasing the sub button softly. So about the lens. So, about the lens. I already know. I heard your conversation. A lens in exchange for flowers. He's an odd old man. Fussy in matters of beauty. Don't forget to take the device he mentioned with you. Genometer? I don't even know what that is. If I understood correctly, that's the heredity gauge. You can use it to find flowers with the purest DNA. Very well. I'll figure it out. Heredity gauge. So she doesn't need her boobs anymore, is that right? Can I have them then? Oh, there we go. Cool. Heredity gauge. So. Um, I don't want to pick the flowers unless I have a heredity gauge. So... Let's just have a little look around, I guess. I don't know. What is this? Is this a heredity gauge? Huh? I have no need for this. Okay. Uh, the magnifier. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Oh, this. Okay. This thing here. That might be it. Let's put that in the inventory. What's this? That might be it too. No. Okay, well, that other thing I just put in my inventory. So there we go. I guess it's that. What is this? Does it say what it is? Alright, so what about these flowers here? Oh. Okay, I guess they're not those flowers then. Let's go over to where the gardens are and find out if those are the kinds of flowers that we need. Are we not going to talk about detachable boobs? No. Nah. <laughs> I just wanted to put them back on so she maybe feels more comfortable. Because, you know, every girl needs her boobs. That thing is still broken on the table. I don't know what thing that is, but anyway. The number, the number on the chest is a personal heredity quotient. Everybody's got one yourself included. It represents the degree of purity of your DNA. In other words, it's your value to society. What's my, well, what's my number then? I don't know what my number is. Fool would be upset if we didn't talk about detachable boobs. Okay, I'll oh, hear some red ones. This looks like a nice open one. So if we did this... How do we... Oh, there we go. It's not fully open. Ah. Oh. Well, how do we know whether or not it's fully open? Okay, so... Is this one fully open? flowers. Uh, okay. Where's a fully open flower then? No. 
maybe this one is. No. Okay. Let's go down to the orange ones then. Break. What does that mean? Oh, I'm back. I actually dropped it. Well, what am I going to do if they're not all fully open? That's ridiculous. Oh, what's that? Is that a sign? What does this say? Danger, disprotoxin contaminated. So I have all of the good ones being packed. And how do I know if this is fully open? Hmm. You're playing the kitchen trashing simulator. <laughs> no, what do you mean? Oh, this one looks fully open. It's closing it up. Oh, I need to aim better next time. Maybe this one. Okay, so I found a couple of files that are fully open. So hang on a second. No. How do you aim better? Oh wow, I found two. Fl oh, here we go. Is this one fully open? This looks fully open. They move so much. So you have to stand further back maybe so that their tracking of movement doesn't... No. Oh, what did it say? No, I had it right the first time because it didn't... it didn't close. All oh, right. Yes. You stand in the kitchen. Everything I'd either dropped off the cruise. No. 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 Hmm. This one looks open too. I'm just watching the movements. So it kind of goes there. So if I go like here. No, 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 no. Complete. 57. Okay. Not beautiful enough. You're not beautiful enough. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that I'm judging flowers by their beauty like this. It's ridiculous. Alright, so. One. That's a good one. How do I pick it now? Hey, is that yellow thing actually showing? Is it a black thing? Yeah, it's a black thing up there. If I wait, if I pick that, can I pick it? Can't pick it. Hmm. Yeah, I can't pick it though. Oh, I got it! They pick it when you open it. Okay, cool. Now this one I think was too ugly. There's this one. How many do I need? I can't even remember. Oh, here we go. Two red, one orange with 80%. Okay, one yellow, 90% or higher. Let's go one orange. Oh. What is it? Can disprotoxin. I can hear him really close, but I can't see him. Oh, there's a one over there. Oh, there's one just there. Okay. Let's see if we can find. Is this is this open enough? No. It's not fully open. Are you fully open? You look like you're fully open. Anyone. No, so this needs to be 90 or more. There you go, this one is open. Ninety-one. 
92. Okay. Okay. Now we need to go back to the red ones, I think. Tiptoe through the tulips. Oh. Oh, oh. It just... Just disappeared. I don't know why or how. Is this, is this a pretty one? Don't know if that's open properly yet, though. Let's just take this. How many did we need? Um, two red with 70% or higher. Okay, let's just go up here. Here's one that's fully open. Ten. Look pretty pretty to me. Pretty pretty pretty. I don't know if that's that one is open enough. No. Okay. Where are the pretty flowers? Here's a pretty one. Open one, hopefully. Ninety-two. Okay. Cool. Um. I need this one. So I need two red ones. So I need run one more red one. There you go. Here's a looking one. Ninety-two. Okay. Okay. So. Pick the flowers using the gene scorch. You need two red gerberas with 70% of higher, one orange and one yellow. So it doesn't actually tell you what they are once you pick them. So I can't even check. Oops, sorry. There's a clang clang. Where's my house? I think it's over here. That's quite cool. I can use that hovercraft to travel places. That flower is ugly! It's so ugly! I mean really, the the beauty gorge or the beauty value of flowers is one of those very opinionated things because some flowers they're really pretty but they just some you know you can be the brightest reddest most delicious looking apple in the fruit bowl but there will still be people who don't like apples. You know that's my moral about being a YouTuber is that some people just don't like you, you know? And there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, uh, no, I need that guy. Make photo photocopies, phytocopies of the flowers. So to do that, I think we put this in here. So we go ready. No flower in the phytocopy. So put that one. So let's put this one, the or orange one, in there. Close it and then we make a fighter fighter copy. Like what? Okay, that's done. <gasps> Check it out. Okay. And then we need another flower, so we put this flower in. Oops, I dropped it. Now it's not pretty anymore. So close it and make a fighter copy. It's like a photocopier. Oh, these are the covers. Oh, cute. I love it. Okay, now we do this one. Close it. Make a fighter copy. You're not sure that the orange one I picked was good enough. Don't say that. Oh, I see what you mean. Orange one was 91. I'll have a look. So, the two red ones must be 70% or higher. So there's this one that's 91. And that one that's... Wait, what? A new task. Pack the fighter copies into the box. Hunting boots. Your distant ancestor wore a similar pair. Sets a leg. Traditional footwear factory. Okay. Where is the box? Not 
sure which box we were talking about. Oh look, that's 26, that's 33, and that's 17. So they were ugly flowers. Is this a box? Box. The box. The box. The box. So it must be this one. Um, how do we do that? Put that here. Open. Uh, okay, grab one of these. I put that into there. Nope. What's that? Is this still going? Can I can I turn you off? No. Um. Okay, so it's not this box. So let's put the box back there. It's like iron bread. Is it that box? No, it's not that box. Is it a box of covers? So the, I thought it was this one. Passium 433. And you get on the block of chemical elements, bringing with it both ruin and salvation. Which of the Passium's components will end up ruling the world? That depends on you, superheroes. So put on your cover and get to work. Click the sweet component to replenish the rescue fund. Destroy its bitter counterpart to safeguard the world from new emissions. The field game of the year returns. Two red, at least 75, one yellow, exactly 88. Oh, these are the orders. Fighter receiver is jammed. I need a special screwdriver. What's this one here? Two red, 16 up, two orange. Now we know what that means. Remind Tabaha about the covers. Huh. Yeah, he's kind of cute. Fighter copy covers, P3 format. I can't seem to take any of these out though. Maybe I jump up here and try and take it out? No. What box? See drill. Box to the right of the photocopier. This one here? Or the red one? This one. Maybe if I put this here, can I put that there? Ah, there we go. Nope, doesn't work. Okay, so now... Okay. Now what? Speak with Ida. Oh, speak with Ida. Let's just put this down carefully. <laughs> you know, I was thinking... I can ask Tabaha to help you with the evacuation. No, Anabish. That's a bad idea. Until I've checked the number of my neurocopy, nobody must know about me. Why is that number so important? Because I'm not sure of my authenticity. We don't know where my neurochip was before making its way to you. If I'm a duplicate, then I'll simply be arrested. At the first registration. Well, all right. It's your call. So, let's check your number. Nothing on that front either. I found a list of the amusement park's employees, but for some reason, my name isn't on it. Mm. But I'm sure I used to work here. I need more particulars about the park, anything at all. My memories are fragmented and don't tell me anything. But you remembered something, yes? Tell me. Well, I remember that all kids would undergo a transfer after the show. I don't know why. Undergo a what? A mirror transfer. That's what the procedure of transferring consciousness into a mechanical body is called. Meaning, the kids would leave the Gerbera Garden in M bodies. Strange, isn't it? Doing a transfer at an amusement park. Oh, that sounds so horrible. Strange is the word. And another thing, their age. These kids were really young, around five, six at the most. What's odd about their age? They were way too young for a transfer. Little kids don't get their bodies replaced, but they did here for whatever reason. 
and I played some kind of role in it. Only I don't remember what it was. Maybe you'll remember more once your sight is back. Maybe. If Tabaha makes good on his promise, and if there's a functioning look screen in the park. Tell me more about this device, the look screen. Do you mean its purpose? Yes. How does this screen provide sight? A look screen doesn't provide sight. Rather, it displays an image of eyes. I think it's used in a transfer somehow, but I don't recall exactly how. I'll try to remember while you're out. I'm on my way. Which pavilion should I look in? The second. And don't forget... Don't forget what? The box with the phytocopies. Help me understand something. What? Why is it illegal to transfer children? You see these for five-year-old kids, right? Whose eyes are on your look screen? Whose eyes are on your look screen? Mine. The same eyes I was born with. The same shape and proportions. Everything is stored in the Geno chip. My entire DNA. Got it. Wait, what? Did you bring what I asked? Help me understand something. What? Why is it illegal to transfer children? I'm not sure. I think that it has to do with their nervous system, its development. Doing a transfer before it's fully formed is dangerous. Got it. No, I want to know Did about you bring this stuff. what I asked? Help me understand something. What? You said these were five-year-old kids, right? I don't remember their exact age, but they looked no older than five, maybe six. And their new bodies, were they similarly small? That's what I no. was thinking. Nobody even manufactured children's M-bodies. There were only two standard models, adult and teenager. Children were transferred into teenage bodies. When leaving the Gerbera Garden, they looked around 15. Not the coziest garden imaginable. You think she might be evil, Al? Yeah. Okay, so Ida needs additional sources of information to recall new details from her past. Perhaps restoring her eyesight will help obtain the parts to help her fix her eyesight. Help head to the Jibera Garden and search the second pavilion. I'll leave those there because I don't need them right now. I guess. Later she takes control of a science facility and calls herself Gladys. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> I love it how we can just like connect all of these like um connect the games seems like a long way to run can all to yeah run can I maybe go there faster like with the that thing I don't know I guess I could should I try that would be great <laughs> drops delicate flowers on the ground done with that yeah I'm totally done with that now <laughs> Okay, if I sit here, then I can go back in there. Whee! This is great fun. I wonder why she got damaged and left behind. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, we need to stop. Stop. What would happen if we like went too far? That would be funny. I probably should have gone a bit further. I'll investigate the path that it would take to get in there. I think that's where it was when I first got on it, so. I'm just supposed to take it far somewhere. Yeah, I'm supposed to give them to that guy, but the um, task right now is to head to Jubera Garden and search the second pavilion because that guy hasn't come back. It's a beautiful environment, it totally is beautiful. So number two, I'm going to assume that she's talking about number two, which is seven, eight, no, maybe it's not two, there we go, this one. What are we searching for? I can't remember, for new eyes. You wanted to know about the look screen. When you undergo a transfer, you put your palm over the palm of your future body and look into its eyes. It's like looking into a mirror. But this part is crucial. The transfer can't happen without it. Then you're immersed into a kind of peculiar state when you see yourself from the side. On a signal, you push off with your palm and a mirror appears between you. And then you're alone again, in your new body. Let's 
get up here before I get taken by those black things. I don't... I see you. Open it. I don't need the files for this thing. I guess I could have put it in my, in my inventory. Another thing. Another padded cell. Time to transfer nails into an M body. Yeah. about the flowers but I did look at them and I said I don't need them where I'm going because I need to give them back to that guy oh god pavilion tropical islands click 30 pink cubes to obtain the look screen hurl cubes into the uprising stream use bombs to destroy grey blocks apply a plink cube to a red one to make the bomb explode grey blocks um, so I can get a, I can get a look screen with this, or I can get a look screen by giving the flowers to that guy. So I've got two choices, really. So wait, uh, apply a pink cube to a red one to make the bomb explode. That should be one. Oh, oh. Oh, I did the wrong one. Grey blocks. Oh, I see what that is. Okay. So I can do that. Can I get explode? Which also makes me explode and fall. Okay. Whoa. So this time he just puts grey blocks there. on the red ones. Pink cube to red one to make the bomb explode. Okay. So that one. Whoa, 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 whoa. You made me get rid of my block. So if I put a red one over here, and then put a, oops, and then put a pink one on top of it, oh, ah, damn it, and we put a red one here, are there any pink ones? She can't get rid of them. Oh my goodness, please. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. You're like blocking up everything. Alright, let's go up to the second. This one here. So if I go like this. this one here and then go grab this one here so that's gonna do a couple more of those let's check those in there check them all in there 
no, 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 no. Do it over here. Yeah, do it here. Do it here. Right here. The other ones. Come on. Well, where did you do it? I don't even know where you did it. Oh, I don't like the fact that it just blows everything up. There's a big hole there. Oh my gosh. Really? <gasps> I don't like the sound of that. Here's one of these. Is there a yellow pink one? Oh, have I got pink one in my inventory? Nope. But there is a one over there. So let's go over here, grab this, and then put it on the white one. Oops, oops, oops. No, wait. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. I just lost it. Um, okay, if I jump on here, I can't get rid of these. But I can put that there. And then this here, so I can get back up under here. So I'm still at the top. Bye. Bye. I'm still wanting to find a pink one if I can. Ah! Ah! You little rat bag. <laughs> We're right on top of me! Where's that one that I found? Did you just get rid of it? You did. No. Yes, you did. Okay, if I go that there and then when I find a pink one I can try and get rid of it. Just trying to find a pink one. Pink one, pink one. There we go. I don't know if I need to actually get I need to get rid of this one. Can I get rid of anything? Kind of. Because I need to get back to this just here. Okay, let's go down here. making the blocks so I can't really explode rather than <sighs> taking away blocks to make me fall down. That's much better. So I can't see any more pink blocks and I've only oh, I've still got quite a few left to go. So let's go down to the next level. Down to here. I can't get rid of those so I need a pink block to blow up that. There's a pink block over there. thing. Can I go back up here? Okay. I'm really risking it by throwing them all in there but I just want to get as many as possible. blow up this so if we go there and then this one then that blows a little bit because he blew big hole in there so it wasn't going up <gasps> no 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 oh my gosh really okay, there's a whole bunch over here oh here it comes let's just come back oh no Ugh. okay let's put that there and then let's put it there bunch in there. Let's 
space. So. Ah! 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 Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Are you serious? <laughs> Oops! That guy hates me. He's got it in for me. Totally got it in for me, hasn't he? Can I not get up here? Should be able to. Light me up! <laughs> okay, so. Hopefully that's enough. And I've won the game. I win! Yay! <laughs> oh, I still won. <laughs> yes! Yes! I still gotta do the flowers though. Alright. So you're a human or an M boy? Yeah, I know. She says something about my number, so I'm I still don't know. Like Yeah. Service insurance citizenship. You can confusedly click on the grey blocks to re move them. Oh the weather's getting bad. New task was added. I can't see what it is. So keep a red on me at all times for that. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. Uh, wait, which? Ah, uh, this way. This way is the door. So let's go out the door. I told you about the mirror between you and your former body. So, the mirror is turned on at the exact moment when your former body loses oh, its original yes. right. It is concealed to keep you from seeing your face as it's put to death. The reason is that sometimes there are involuntary, mimicking contractions that resemble a smile. Obviously, that is something best left unseen. I think that guy's back, so I'll quickly go back up there, grab the flowers. Probably should take the flowers with us, but I don't really want to do that thing with the flowers on me. Okay, so let's go to the yurt, grab the flowers, and come back. Oh, is he leaving? No, don't leave yet. Let's go get the flowers. Wait, be patient. Oh, ran to a rock. Lovely. All right. Open. Oh, opens in my face. Lovely. Where's the, where's the box flowers? Box files are gone. Our box files is in my inventory already. Oh, that's weird. I took smile to be a grimace. Yeah. Well, when you the moment of death, maybe that's what you do. You smile. When you're in, yeah, I don't know. I don't know uh -huh, what that means. Hi. Have you got a death wish? Why would you go there? Where? Oh, nowhere. Did you bring the flowers? Here you go. Atta boy. Here is your lens. My word is my bond. I'm not even going to ask what you want with it. I don't know what's going on in your head today. And I don't want to know. He's got a new hat. Tabaha. What do you know about this amusement park? Stay away from it, if you know what's good for you. Why do you think it's been fenced off? Because you shouldn't go in there. You'll be better off. You must remember something. Tell me. Think, man. I wasn't even around back then. There was an amusement park. And I guess someone must have exploded in there. Am I supposed to remember every explosion that ever happened? All I know is this damn poison-filled behemoth has been standing there for 20 years now. And nobody ever gave a crap. But suddenly you do. 
Why? I'm curious. It's just so... strange. Sure it is. But why do you care? What are you after? The fur hat must be something. I want to know why kids were undergoing transfers. If they were, then there was a reason for it. Why does that even surprise you? It's just a regular mirror transfer. Mirror transfer. But to Baja, they don't do transfers to kids. To ordinary kids, they don't. These kids, they might not have been all that ordinary. I saw them once at an airport, with their teachers. I remember those kids standing there all pale and silent. It was forbidden to talk to them. Really? So there. At an airport? Where were they coming from? From all over. They were being brought here from all corners of the world. What's so special about these parts? Damned if I know. There used to be some kind of station here. A polar station. They were researching something. Polar? I think that's what they called it. It didn't interest me in the slightest. Baja, I've got a request for you. Uh, let me guess. You want me to dig up everything there is to know about the Gabera Garden, am I right? Only what happened on the day of the explosion. Jeez, Anabish. Won't you just forget about this damn garden? Fine, I'll look into it. Thanks, Tabaha. All right, I've got a roll. Last thing I need is to rack up airs and lose my wits. You know how vulnerable I am to that stuff. I may look calm and collected, but I've got crazy energy and passion for life. You look just plain odd. Those glasses and nose. These glasses are one of a kind. You couldn't get them in your wildest dreams. But I got them at half price. That's because I'm a high roller, while you'll be chasing such luxuries all your life. Please, don't forget about my request. Interesting. Um, Mr. Rollo one, I'm loving this game. I think it's great. I love these kinds of things where you've got little missions to go on, and yeah, this this is the kind of game that I really enjoy. I mean, yeah, I like Conan and all that other kind of stuff as well. Uh, and saw the lens and lock, lock screen on, on Ida. Um, but this is really cool, and it's also got a little bit of a touch of kind of like a, like a moral challenge kind of thing, you know, with the whole... Um, Ugh, I can't even explain. The whole story. Do you know the story? Have you played the game? I love it. Oh, oh, he's back. Hi. Can I... Wait, what about this thing? Do I put this on him? No. I guess I don't do anything to you. Alright, let's do the Ida thing. Check out the pin up behind the right shoulder. Yes, there is no combat in the game. Did you bring what I asked? Help me understand something. What? Oh, Whose eyes was... are on your look screen? Mine. The same eye. Got it. Did you bring what I asked? I did. The look screen as well? The look screen and the lens. Let's connect them. Disconnect the broken look screen. The input is inside right behind it. Install the lens first and then my eyes. And then your eyes. This look screen. There you go. You'd be too impatient for puzzles? Ah. Uh. I did PvP versus Fruit so far. Oops. Now what?
Well? How's your vision? Is it working? Yes. I just... What? Mm, nothing. It's fine. My eyesight is back, thank you. You've not played, but games with choices and consequences for your choices and some decisions make a game worth playing. I totally agree. Finally you can see what's going on in a woman's head, yeah. What happened? Times it. Did you remember something? Yes, actually, I did. And I know now why I wasn't on that list. Why weren't you? I wasn't on staff. I would come to the Gerbera Garden with the kids and go back with the same group. Meaning, I wasn't a full-time employee. I merely accompanied the children. Tabaha said those kids were accompanied by teachers. Those weren't teachers. It was psychologists that accompanied them. I'm a children's psychologist. Why the need for a psychologist at an amusement park? Enovich, this is not an amusement park at all. Those kids didn't come here for entertainment. They were gravely ill and were brought here for treatment. The Gerbera Garden was a clinic. What were they treated for? Some kind of psychological disorder. Quite severe, often fatal. But it's hard to say exactly what it was. I can't recall. You mean the transfer was their therapy? Oh, interesting. One part of it, yes. There was a whole set of measures. Body replacement was the final phase of the therapy. We also searched for parts and staged plays. They too were part of the treatment. Plays? What kind of plays? I... I remember this one episode. There was a vessel in front of the stage, kind of like a bathtub. It's still there. I saw it. Well, the kids would put M-body parts in it. Each one would bring their own part from the pavilion and put it into the bathtub. And as it filled up, the MC would combine all the parts into a single body. And what happened then? And then... There was a cloud of steam. The body would be quickly, imperceptibly replaced with a young woman's, and she would pick up the lead. She would fight some giant head. And then something else would happen. I can't remember all the details. And the cubes? Were they also part of the treatment? The cubes, the flower beds, even the height of the pavilions. All were deliberate, mandatory elements of the same therapy. Wow. The Gerbera Garden was constructed specifically for those children. It was the only means of treating their illness, peculiar though it may have been. Whoa. The illness must have been peculiar to match. It's still hard for me to imagine what it might have been, but those kids, they evoked more than just compassion. There was something else, some other complicated, ambiguous feeling. Ooh, any feedback on this would be very interesting. Tabaha is right. Those kids were unusual. Yes, and the amusement park was as well. Which means all arrivals had to be registered, myself included. I'll try to look for some kind of visitor's logbook or... Or what? What is it? My battery. It's nearly discharged. Bad news. I need you to make sense of all this. In that case, Anubis, you'll need to play with those cubes some more. Sure thing, Ida. I'll play. Which pavilion? A moment. Hands. Wrists. There, the fuel cell. Tenth pavilion. Help me understand something. What? You mentioned original's right. What is that? That's a right to bear identity. When a new M-body is activated during a transfer, it is also bestowed original's right, thus acquiring an identity. At that very moment, the former body loses this right and is destroyed. Oh. Destroyed? Why? I'm not sure. Perhaps to ensure the two never communicate. Why? What would happen if they communicate? I can't be sure. That's a rare occurrence. I believe the consequences are rather strange. They... I don't know how to explain it. Got it. Did you bring the battery? Help me understand something. What? Okay. You mentioned original's right. Sorry. What is that? 
That's destroyed. Why? I'm gonna get out of this. Not sure. Why? Sorry. What would happen if they communicate? Uh, I can't be she's sure. A great, great, she's That's a great a voice occurrence. actress, him not so much. I quite it. like his voice. Okay, so we've got to find the fuel cell in Pavilion 10. However, I'm going to end the stream today. It's only a little short one because it's school holidays right now, but tomorrow I will be back, same time, same place, to do that next thing in Pavilion 10. Search the 10th Pavilion. Ida's parcel is discharged. Head to the Gerber, Gerber Garden and obtain a new battery. So I will be doing that tomorrow. Doesn't she really remember what she doesn't want to tell? I, I take her as she is as face value and everyone else is like, oh, she's lying, you know, she's evil, blah, blah, blah. And that sort of injects that thought into my head and I'm like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's just take her as she is as face value. Because then when she turns out to be evil, it's more of a shock. When you say that at the beginning, it becomes less of a shock at the end. So, yeah. So I'm going to end the stream here. I'm sorry it was so quick. I'm going to go and take Kiki out. I'm not sure where we're going to. It's raining. And it's a horrible day. So I don't know. I might go to the library or somewhere like that. So I will end the stream here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This is a lot of fun. And I love this game. And I'll be continuing it tomorrow. Thank you for the Tarok. Al, Tom, Shad. I'm about to go offline. Let's play 20 questions. I don't think so. We can ask me one question. Wabbit Hunter. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. I think there was Nails and Mr. Rollo. It was good to have you here. Maybe you can join me again tomorrow. And Shad and Cedril and Basilis. Okay, Tom, I can't remember if I said you or not. But I had a really good time. So, um, yeah. Pop a comment down in the comment box if you have any feedback about what's going on in, in the game with regards to everything that's been said. I won't go over it right now because I do have to end the stream. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you tomorrow. I'll drink some cocoa. Mm, I might. I feel like I feel like something warm to warm warm my soul. So I will see you tomorrow. Ciao ciao. And then I have to wait a little while because the stream will end at the same time. Bye, Mike. Do it. I didn't hear you at all, but bye.